I want to talk about my reason why. I want to talk about my reason behind starting Incline and my reason for going about life the way I'm going about it right now. Um, so in the beginning, it was starting the brand. It was, you know, what do I like? You know, I, I, I've, I'm 28 years old now. I changed my life two years ago uh, in prison. I had no life skills. I knew nothing about what I was passionate about. I knew nothing. I just knew I wanted to try something different. I needed different results. Something needed to change. I didn't know how I was going to change or what could help, but I knew being sober, you know, drugs and alcohol, I thought back to everything bad that's ever happened in my life. 95% of it was happened while I was under the influence. So let me just try to not be under the influence and knock out all those things and let's see what good can happen in my life. So I did that and uh, I realized pretty early on that my way of staying sober was working out. And as time went on, it was just to stay, you know, stay just for my mental, just to stay sober, kind of get, you know, healthy, build the foundation. As time went on, it's, I started taking it more serious. I started getting addicted to the results, addicted to the progress. And that went for everything in life, not just working out. I started becoming addicted to the whole lifestyle that went around it. Because to be, a, lifestyles are like, there's not really, not with me, there's no like half and half. I'm all into one way or I'm all in another way. So I had to be all into this lifestyle with working out a, a brand behind it. I needed everything, you know, going together. Um, so the brand, I needed something in the beginning to hold myself accountable, you know. So I knew of this brand that we had besides the name and the logos and all that, something that was going to describe my new way of living that I knew others could relate to. I mean, you can't go wrong with a brand that that that's all about, you know, pushing yourself beyond, you know, limits and beyond your expectations, like pushing yourself harder than you could have thought, changing your life for the better, being the better version of yourself every day. I mean, that's like, that's, that's the one right there. You know what I mean? And most brands are about that, but I really am doing that change. I don't, not to say other brands aren't really, you know, aren't, big on what they, I, mean, I know other people push themselves and I'm at, I actually am jealous of the people who didn't have to go through what I went through. They just knew it from day one. I admire that. I wish I didn't have to learn the hard way. So, but this brand is just about, it's about being better and better every day. You know what I mean? So incline in your life, which means just going uphill and constantly just striving for, for greatness. You know what I mean? Like just striving to be a better person. That's all really. So I needed something that was going to keep reminding me to be that better version of myself. So a brand, oh, a brand sounded cool, but what kind of brand? Maybe a visual one, one that could I could look at every day and I could look in the mirror and kind of, you know, like, let's go, you know? And maybe it turned into being about other people after that. It wasn't just about myself and holding myself accountable and wanting to live behind the meaning of the brand and turn into other people. Maybe they'll feel the same way. You know, you got to think about the people in, in business and then the, the world around you. The world around you is, is built off people and everybody together, you know. So when you run a business, I don't have employees yet, but I, I know how it's going to go. And you, your employees aren't going to work for somebody for long that, that they don't believe in the reason behind the business. I, I don't think I would, at least. I don't know about you. You might force yourself to work somewhere just for the money, even though you hate the whole idea behind it. But I don't know if how long that'll last. So customers though, customers, you're not gonna buy a product that you don't believe in. So I just felt like to those who are watching this, you just deserve, deserve to know the reason why behind it. You know what I mean? And that was to hold myself accountable, to constantly wear something visual that, you, that can remind you to be that better version of yourself because it's worked, it's worked. And I can't say that if I stopped, something happened with the brand right now that it'd make me wanna go back because I'm pretty much stuck in my ways at this point and I think that you know this path that I'm on is isn't isn't is gonna be is gonna be for the long haul so that's my why maybe you know you want to dig deep and I'd love to know your reasons why too so for whatever you got going on so share with me I appreciate it share with everybody else and that was those are my reasons why I appreciate you tuning in until next time